I want to talk about commitment. I know that's where God wants us to be right now. Thank you. Faithfulness. Commitment is faithfulness. Amen. Remember I said last week that commitment is defined as a promise to someone, an attitude of someone who works hard to support something. Amen. 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 I like that a whole lot. So why then is it that we see the people of God not committed. Amen. Amen. When we are supposed to be the most committed people. Amen. 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 We talked about how nobody these days, or hardly nobody wants to be committed to anything. Amen. Right. Okay. Whether it's marriage, a job, a church, it's just not there because there is a spirit in the earth now. Remember I said last week, we want immediate gratification. That's right. Okay. And we don't want to wait on nothing. That's right. And so we're not committed because God does move when we want him to move. He moves when he knows he needs to move. Amen. God has perfect timing. Uh, we had a parent today who... Uh, transferred their child into George Woods High School, bless they so, and they had just re tried to register, <coughs> and they're demanding the child's records right now. Jesus. And I am for Ms. Sharon Riddick. Yes, they let them know. It's within 24 to 48 hours, we will get it over. That's right. And not a moment before. So they were all irate and upset. I said, yeah. School has been open to register since the beginning of August. Amen. Now you wait till the last minute, and now you don't want to wait. You want to push everybody to do what you want them to do. And that's the world we live in now. That's, right. that's the world we live in. Of course, they didn't get it, they're going to wait. Amen. Amen. We have a lot of new students we're trying to get records on. But you just wait. Amen. This is something that is very hard for people to do, especially in America. In America, we want what we want when we want it, and that's not God. Amen. And so when God doesn't do, or things don't go the way we think they ought to go, we're no longer committed. We're quitters. We're punks. When we were in the world, if something was not right, we fought for it. Yes, amen. We fought for it. You know, if we were in love with somebody, we'd walk from here to New Jersey. Amen. But we were going to find a way to get there because we wanted to get there. We wanted to do it. Amen. When we want to do something, we find a way. Amen. But when that way starts taking sacrifice, commitment, now we find ourselves falling off. Amen. Because we're walking in the spirit of the world. And we're not walking in the spirit of Christ. Amen. The spirit of Christ is committedness. Amen. Jesus shows us in the garden how hard what he was getting ready to do was going to be. And it wasn't the crucifixion. It was drinking the cup. Right. Right. He had never known internally sin. That's right. And he didn't want to know it now. Amen. And he says to God, let this cup pass from me. But he didn't quit. He said, nevertheless. nevertheless. It's not what I want to do, but nevertheless. I don't feel like doing it, but <laughs> nevertheless. I, I really don't want to do this, but nevertheless. he had a nevertheless. When you are committed, you have a nevertheless. That's it. You know, people talk about marriage and people want to get married and oh, when I find my soulmate, well, I tell people the only soulmate that I know of is Jesus Christ. Amen. Okay. So that's Amen. stupid, foolish stuff Amen. that goes on in the world. Amen. There's no such thing as a soulmate in a human being. That means that perfect is person. That person <coughs> is perfect. Well, I hate to tell you this, but they're not. Yes. Only person that was perfect that walked the earth was Jesus Christ. Yes. Now, when the marriage starts going through its downtime, yes. 
Now you're not committed anymore. Lord have mercy. Now you're talking about separation, talking about divorce, or some woman is in your face, or some man is in her face, because we no longer want to be committed. That's right. We forget that the grass always looks greener on the other side. It's easy to relate to somebody you don't have to live with. Amen. Amen. Let me say that again. It's Amen. easy to relate to somebody you don't have to live with. That's they right. smell right. They say everything okay. right. They look right. That's right. And then they're gone. And you're gone. Amen. Relationships, no matter who it's with, even with God, are hard work. That's Amen. right. It takes a commitment to God to stick with God. Amen. Amen. Because God doesn't make sense to us. I know it don't make sense Amen. to me. Amen. Some of the things he does, some Amen. of the things that he allows us to go through, Amen. some of the hurt that we have to bear, Amen. some of the disappointments, Amen. all of that does not make sense. Amen. And so staying committed to God has to be a commitment. Amen. For better or for worse. Somebody Amen. say it. Amen. 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 Whether we like it or not, we're supposed to have a nevertheless. Amen. Because we have made a commitment to serve God and not ourselves. Amen. Amen. But we continue to try to have our cake and eat it too. That's right. Somebody remind me to go back and say what I said when I started. I'm waiting. Amen. Commitment. Commitment. Amen. When you have a job, you're committed to the job. At That's least right. I hope you are. That's right. And so commitment to the job means you show up on time. Amen. In fact, you show up a little earlier. Amen. Amen. Because you want to get yourself, if you're really committed, yes, I would always go to work a little early so I could get my hot chocolate, I could get my uh, bagel if I wanted one, I could go to the bathroom. So I was in my office on time. Yes. I wasn't showing up there at 8, and then I'm going to hang up my coat, and then I'm going to get a cup of chocolate, and then I'm going to get a bagel, and then I'm going to do this and that. No. I was committed to the job. Amen. And they expected me to be in place at a certain time. Amen. So I needed to be in place at that time. Amen. Not clocking in at that time. Amen. Or it got quiet. That's right. Same thing with church. Yeah. Commitment. You made a commitment to bringing God's word to life. Amen. But you show up late. Amen. That's not commitment. That's a punk. Amen. Now, I will admit to you that commitment takes a whole lot more work. Yes, it does. Yes, it does. Takes a whole lot more sacrifice Amen. than non-commitment. Amen. Not, you can always, in these times we are living in, Find a reason not to be committed. Yes. Right. We are living in the most justifying time in history where you can be non committed and it's okay. That's right. It's okay. Well, Pastor Bishop don't understand. I don't need to understand. I know that you're supposed to be committed. Amen. And if you're not committed, then I question your salvation. Yeah. Amen. Because Jesus, I just gave you the scripture. Jesus was committed. Yeah, well, he makes it clear, I don't want to do this. Amen. But, nevertheless, commitment takes sacrifice. Commitment crucifies flesh. Amen. 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 Uh -huh. Commitment goes against what we like. And we, yes, see, because yes, the yes. human mind, which we touch on is the core of who you are, yes. this Amen. human mind hates structure. Yes. The human mind hates discipline. The human mind 
will find an excuse to do what it wants to do. Amen. The humanness, the flesh of us. That's right. Man. Every one of us have flesh that we must contend with. Amen. Amen. That's right. And it is easier Easy. to Amen. give in to flesh yes. than to be committed to the spirit. Amen. The spirit demands commitment. Amen. The spirit demands commitment. Amen. At all times. Amen. Amen. I don't care what your reason is. Because I guarantee there are women in here that have made great commitments for a man. Amen. Great sacrifices for an angel and a husband. That's right. I'm talking about a man. Amen. Okay, great commitments for the boyfriend. Amen. That's right. Great sacrifices for a boyfriend. Amen. That was a human being that let you down. Amen. Amen. And even when he let you down and hurt your feelings, you went right back That's into the sacrifice. Right. Because you were committed. Amen. Thank you, Lord. He wasn't committed. But God is always committed to us. And God showed us by giving us his only son that commitment takes great sacrifice. He was our first example of commitment. It's going to cost me my only son but I'm committed to these people I created. That's right. And there is no other way to get them out of the sin nature except a pure sacrifice, a pure lamb, go down. And I can't go down because everybody will drop dead. Amen. God said, no man has seen me and me. So God could not come. So he sent a part of himself in his son. Amen. Amen. You have to know the drama of the garden. Never have known sin. Never. And now it's going to voluntarily drink sin, not to save himself, but to save people. And some weren't even born yet like us. Amen. Amen. Look at somebody and say, commitment is sacrifice. Commitment is sacrifice. This is where the problem comes in. Because we're living in a time where either people are justifying why they are not committed, Christians especially, are confessing, well, I would have, but. A butt person has a goat spirit. Amen. We were taught years and years ago, feed the sheep, use the goats. Amen. Goats will give you a butt. Yeah, Pastor, I understand, but. Yeah, I know what the words say, Pastor, but. That's a goat. There is no but with God. Amen. You cannot have your cake and eat it too. You cannot. Amen. Even out there in the world, you're going to pay for it. Amen. I'm going to show you the seriousness of how God looks at not being committed. So go to Matthew 21, 19. Thank you for the word. Thank you for the word. Thank you for the word. People just aren't committed anymore. And the Bible says, don't let your word fall to the ground. Amen. If you say you're going to be somewhere, then you need to be there. Amen. On time. Amen. Amen. Let's read. And when he saw a fig tree, everybody. And when he saw a fig tree in the way. In the way means he was walking and he saw it right there where he was walking. He, come on, let's continue. He came to it and found nothing thereon, but leaves only and said unto him, 
let no fruit grow on thee and forth forever. And presently the fig tree withered away. The creation of the fig tree was to produce figs. That's right. That was the whole purpose for its being. Okay. Was to produce figs. The whole reason it was created was to produce figs. Somebody get it after one. Amen. The only reason that tree existed was to produce figs. Amen. Amen. Now, some of you say, Amen. So when Jesus is walking down the road, he sees the big leaves. Amen. Which tells him there are figs underneath the leaf. Amen. And because he is hungry, oh good, the tree is doing what it was created to do. Amen. Let me go get a fig. Yeah. He lifts up the leaf to find there is nothing there. That's right. uh -huh. And he curses it. That's uh -huh. The tree was created to serve uh -huh. by giving figs. Uh -huh. Y'all don't hear me. Uh -huh. But when it was supposed to serve, it was out of order in that it had leaves, but no fig. It was a punk and a fake. It looked like a Christian. Its color was like a Christian. The leaves were dressed like a Christian, but there was no fruit as a Christian. Amen. Amen. And God cursed it. Jesus cursed it immediately. He didn't pray about it. He didn't try to reason, well, maybe That's the right. roots are dead. Or maybe, maybe, no. He said this is a uncommitted product. Uh -huh. It is good for nothing. Uh -huh. So he cursed it and it withered away. Yeah. It was not doing what it was created to do. Right. It was out of timing, it was out of order. If it wasn't going to have figs, it shouldn't have had leaves. Right. Right. God is a God of order. Right. And whenever things are out of order, they are out of God and under the auspices of the devil. Right. I don't care who, what, or where it is. I knew it wasn't going to get a whole lot of amen so that. That tree was functioning out of order. Amen. I'm going to say that again. The tree was functioning out of order. Amen. It came to church when it felt like it. It got the word when it felt like it. It dressed like it was Christian and it even talked like it was Christian sometime. But there was no commitment of fruit. See, Amen. fruit takes time. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Amen. Amen. Fruit doesn't grow overnight. Amen. Fruit takes time. And see, what Jesus knew was if there was a tree, there was a seed. Amen. That a seed somehow had been planted in the earth and it had produced a tree over time. And the tree became a hypocrite and a liar because it produced leaves, but it had no fruit. Amen. That was good right there. Amen. It looked like a fruitful fig tree. But when it came time to be committed to produce fruit, there was no fruit. Amen. Like many Christians today, they know the lingo, they know what to say, we know how to dress, we know how to talk, but when commitment time comes, yes. Amen. Yes. we want to skip that and go to the leaders. Uh -huh. Oh, y'all don't hear me. Amen. 
when trouble comes, now we have lost our joy. Jesus. We no longer are celebrating. We're walking around looking like somebody just ran over our little puppy. Yes. We are no longer committed to the serving to God. Because we were never committed to begin with to God. We were committed to self. Yes. And boy, because we were committed to self, when self is afflicted, self quits. Amen. Every single time. Most Christians are punks. That's how come I know when G Jesus made an awesome statement. He said, when I return, will I find any faith? Yes. Oh. Am I going to find any fruit? Uh. Um, and, and I'm not going to find anybody still committed. Because yes. time's going to get rough up. Amen. And Christians are capitulating to the devil and compromising now. Yes. God help you if you're left behind and they put a gun to your head. This modern day Christian will justify taking the mark of the beast. Well, God wanted me to play in a dangerous game. I remember when Bishop taught this church every morning. Do what? Who remember? Yes, James. Take what else? You're right. Yes. <laughs> no, he did not. Yes. Cover yourself in the blood. Cover yourself in the blood. And I guarantee you, I'll take this stuff. Yeah, okay. And do because you're non-committed, so you do it for a day or a week every morning. The blood of Jesus. And you were supposed to take communion every morning. Amen. You don't need a pastor or bishop to take communion. Amen. You need to be saved to take communion. Amen. Amen. Repent of your sins. Amen. And take communion. That's right. Amen. Every morning. We do it every morning. Bishop sets it up every night. And if he forget and fall asleep, he gets up in the morning and do it. And we could be running late, but we're going to take communion. He's going to make sure it's head of that house that I'm covered. And I'm taking my communion. If he leaves before me, he'll call back to the house. Don't forget how he can take your communion. Amen. Thank you, you living in Paris. He told us that two, three years ago. Because God was trying to prepare us for such a time as this. Amen. Stop taking the teachings of the word of God for a joke. Yes. Don't think your mind can slip too. Yes. I know you said that's why I'm nobody, everybody is there. I ain't gonna be a man. Yeah, the devil in you is a liar. That's a setup right there. Amen. He said, when you admit you're weak, then I'll make you strong. Oh, man. Going around thinking, and that's, that's a big problem with a lot of people, especially men in this church and everywhere. You think you all had the bag of chips, but you ain't. Amen. Amen. That's right. And the people blowing their heads off of men, black and white. Amen. See, because black folk get in mind, that's white folk, they freaky, they crazy. No black folk doing it too. Amen. They got nothing to do with color. <laughs> Every morning I get up, I thank God I'm still in my right mind. Amen. My mind didn't slip from me doing it night. Amen. Some nights I wear a chapel scarf. Some nights I don't know. The Holy Ghost tell me to do something, I do it. I don't even question anymore. You hear me, Alan? I don't even question. Holy Ghost said, put on a chap scarf. I can't find time to put a tissue some on my head. Amen. He might say, go get some olive oil and anoint your head with it. I don't know what, but he know what the devil is cooking up. Amen. He can't get to you no other way. He gets to you in your sleep. Old yes. saints used to say, witches came to ride people during the night. And they do. Amen. They can't get you during the day. They'll try to get you in yes. your sleep. Yes. And all you got to do is be a non-committed, carnal-minded Christian. Amen. All right. Your jobs, your homes, your cars, your money. Right. from the pulpit. Why weren't you in prayer? 
Well, Pastor, I had to, I don't want to hear the buts. That's a goat spirit. Be quick to repent and don't do it again. Yeah. Amen. One thirty minutes of prayer. But we'll devote hours to video games, movies, yeah. football. football. Yeah. That's why some ain't here tonight. Because night, the first night of fishing, the football game. Might not even be 18. But see, I'm so non-committed to God and getting the word of God. Because see, I'm just talking. This ain't valuable to nobody for nothing. So I got to catch the first football game of the season. And this may be the word that keep them hellhounds oh, off your butt. Amen. Amen. You know why people of God fall in sin so easy? Not commitment to God until they get in trouble. Amen. Once we get in trouble, Lord God Jesus. Where was your prayer time before that? Where was your theology class before that? That's right. When last time you just shandoro si kene yama grondo de? Do you understand that when you pray in the spirit, the devil don't know what the heck you talking about? Right. When you pray in English, God hears you, and the devil hears you. Yes. Right. They'll say, "Oh, oh." That's what she was. See, he can't hear your thoughts. That's right. He sends messages to your thoughts, and then he has to watch your fruit to see if it works. That's right. Only God know your thoughts are far off. Mm -hmm. Y'all better hear me tonight. Amen. You know why you keep having them thoughts? You know why you keep reverting back? Because you ain't praying. Amen. Amen. You ain't reading your Bible. Amen. You fall asleep in church. So I know you fall asleep at home not reading it. Yeah, I'm coming down straight. straight. Bible tore up on the floor because it's been in the back of the car and the kids been climbed in the car over top of it and throwing it around at home. Because you ain't got no designated place where you say, this is my spot. I don't care if it's a corner or so. Don't nobody sit there. Right. Don't nobody touch that Bible on that seat. That's my prayer spot. Right. Everybody ain't got a lot of room like I do. But I ain't always had it. But I always pray. Right. You don't have a prayer shawl? Get you some colors, a sheet. Get it over you. We little kids just take sheets and play house of Bhadra. Kids would think that's crazy now, but I thank God for our imagination time, Amen. our creativity time. Amen. We'd be outside all day. Do you know that kept us healthy? Amen. We were getting vitamin D all day long. Come in the house if you want. That's right. Amen. That's right. Out there, your mama would say, after my dish, it's out there. You come up in here, um, you're going to stay in the house. Yeah. You better go to the bathroom, do everything you got to do. Yeah. You put some ice water on the back porch. Yeah. <laughs> when it was raining, you played on the back porch. We had a closed in like back porch sunroom. You play out there. Keep coming in now. I got something for you. I'm going to work. Yeah. <laughs> You do it now that you get a little tack and go out there to swim. It's too hot. You in the pool and you talk about it's too hot. Because we're raising a bunch of whips that are not going to be able to stand up against the fight of the devil. All they know is air and clothes and sneakers. They're not committed to getting their education. They're going to school to run their mouth. They're going to school to act disrespectful. They go to school to show off their tight behinds, but they ain't going to school to learn them because they not committed. Amen. Jesus, Jesus. Amen. Not committed to nothing that you got to work for. Uh -huh. Ask them to take out trash.
trap and it looked like they had dead taking a bad trip. Huh? Amen. <laughs> After they play like they don't hear you 50 times. Amen. See, we don't put up with that mess. Amen. I would knock my kids in the floor. I'm going to tell you something one time and that's it. Anything else, you disrespected me. Because with my big mouth, I know you heard me. Say hard if you want. Because see, that's a lie. You heard me. You're trying to stall as long as you can. See, non-committed to respect and honor produces disrespect. Man. You don't talk to no kids, no fives, they're not telling you anything. You know, why did I say, why did you, no, uh -uh. Right. no. I talked to you one time. That's right. Same thing in our school. Why am I talking to kids 50 minutes? Huh? One time. Do you understand what I'm saying to you? Yes, ma'am, good. Yes, ma'am, good. We have become so uncommitted, even in houses, God. I shouldn't have to talk about coming late. That's right. Don't be here early. Amen. Why not start prayer early? You get here at 6, 6, 15, why aren't you praying? That's right. This isn't, this isn't fellowship. This isn't a social club. Amen. This is the house of God. Yeah. Enter into his gate. The first door you come in, you ought to be saying, thank you, Lord. The second door, he said, and enter into his courts with what? Pray. Hallelujah. Glory to God. God, I thank you. See, precious started at the door. Amen. But y'all are sitting here and talk. Let somebody say, let's pray. Ain't nobody no leader to start prayer. Get down on your knees and start talking out loud to God. Yeah. That's yeah. prayer time. Amen. Yeah. The leader's going to be on their post after the night. Trust me. Yeah. Yeah. Commitment. You either all in with God or you all out. Yeah. Yeah. This halfway of serving God, it ain't serving God. Amen. Yeah. 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 I want to show you one more scripture and then I'm going to close. Go to Mark 8.24. See, I love Matthew 6.33 because he tells you how to get things added to your life. First thing, if something is hindered, things going wrong, something not right, something keep breaking down, check your prayer life. Amen. Amen. I'm sure you'll find holes in it. That's how the devil got in. Give Satan. You know you living in crazy time and you ain't praying. You ain't covering yourself. The bishop told you, cover yourself in the blood, everyone. So now you have disobeyed the angel of the house. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Amen. So you the fig tree with leaves and no fruit. And Jesus cursed you. And I bet you can look at your life and see some curses. Amen. Amen. Hello? Amen. I'm sure you can. Because you got leaves, but you ain't got no fruit. Amen. Go to 23, precious. The story of the blind man. Good illustration. It is something. He went to heal, but he had to take him away from the town. That's a whole nother teacher, but that's good. Sometimes things can't work till you get away from some folks. Oh, I felt that way. Hallelujah. You found the unbelievers. You know what? Look at me. And it keeps coming up. Another one said, come out from a Monday and be ye separate. Amen. And you are around. Unbelieving, and, and I think it's even worse. Believers going contrary to the word. Yes. To know to do good and do us not is. Yes. You round believers purposely sinning, and you think some of them fleas ain't gonna jump off on you. Yes. 
The Holy Ghost, that ain't in my notes. The Holy that isn't in my notes. The Holy Ghost just said it to me. You wearing a bunch of people that you know. You know. You ain't even got to guess at it. You ain't got to pray about it. You know for a bona fide, certified fact. And you button God while you're doing that. I'd rather live in a cardboard box. You got fleas around here. But see, most of y'all too punk. I remember Mother Ernestine would say, she'd tell her son, come over there with a 40. A pack of cereal. She'd say, you're going to have to leave that out there. And don't leave it on my porch. Take it all the way to the sidewalk. You ain't coming in here with that. It got quiet. Thank you, Jesus. You ain't coming in my house with that. You know, those things carry spirits. Everything got a spirit to it. Whether it's a good spirit, I feel the Holy Ghost. Whether it's a good spirit or a bad spirit, everything got a spirit attached to it. I rebuke this new club that I'm built right on Hall Street here. Out of all things, why it's called after seven? What is seven? God's complete number. Out of all the numbers they could have picked. See, I see what's going on in this spiritual realm. Just like that song, Empire, whatever, that Jay Z, your life starts when you leave the church. Jesus can't save you. Out of all the words in the English language, Beyonce song, you little girls are bees. While I'm dropping my on the ground. And see, we just like that. Oh, it's just a song. Well, words have life. Amen. You think all these nasty, filthy hip hop rap singers? You think it's just a song? No, that's why our young men. Don't have no respect for our women. Because we all bitches and hoes. Amen. Amen. Young man growing up hearing that. Faith comes by Amen. hearing. Amen. And some Christians, some of y'all right in this room, still listening to that. Them wonder why you can't pray. You can't pray and listen to that garbage. Amen. It's in there. Yes. Oh, your brain don't remember that. Yes. Yes. It don't remember that. It can sing the whole line back to you. Yeah. Yeah. Some of you hear it right now in your head. <laughs> so shame. That's how low we become. That we will spend money on filth. But ask you to give money to the house of God. Well, I I, I know I said I would, but uh, I, 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 Jesus, Jesus. But when you're out there in that street, amen. You got money forever with whatever you want. But now it's I got to get my weed. What's wrong with your own man? <laughs> Take your weed money. Yeah, I'm talking straight up about it. Why the weed money ain't in the basket? Amen. Give and it shall be. Yeah. Thank you, Lord. Want to look like the world. I think it's so sad that most of our young people are trying to look like the heathen. Dressed like the heathen. Looking just as simple as they can. Everybody know it ain't your way. <laughs> you done seen some hip hopper, some rapper, some unbelieving low life heathen wearing. Now everybody want to look like somebody else. Uh -huh. 
because you don't understand. You're committed to the Lord Jesus Christ yes. and look like him. Amen. Amen. They said, you want your hair pressed straight? I said, no, ma'am. He said, no, ma'am, I'm not interested in that. Well, I just asked, because, you know, most of these young men, I said, I don't care what young people do, because they're young and dumb. Mm -hmm. I'm not following young people. They supposed to be following me. Yeah. Amen. Older women teach the young women. Amen. Amen. I know how to look good and how to dress, and I ain't got to try to look like nobody in the street. Yes. They need what I got. That's right. Whoever that was for, it's a warning. I don't care if you got to rent a room. I'm talking to, and I, the Holy Ghost just said I'm talking to more than one. You trying to figure out why you can't get past certain things, why certain things ain't working out, you better check out them fleas. They like bed bugs. They're just like fleas and bed bugs. They do the same thing. They're so small you can barely see them Amen. until they bite you. Amen. Or somebody needs to catch that in the spiritual realm. Amen. You can't see them until they bite you. Till they bite you. Amen. Oh, Lord Jesus, I'm sorry. Yeah, okay. You've been warned. Amen. Amen. You've been warned. Because while you're sleeping, some of you, your healing is a separation away. Holy Ghost oh, just wow. said that. Jesus. Jesus. Oh, it's quiet in here. I know you don't mind me, but I'm giving you word. I'm giving you word. Amen. Amen. You around people with fleas and you think your fleas ain't going to... Fleas don't know no name. Amen. A flea is a flea. Amen. A bed bug is a bed bug. And if you got one flea, one bed bug, you got more than one. Because demons run in packs. Amen. Anybody been on drugs or not, they will tell you. You got to let go of all your friends. Yes, sir. Don't go back in the old neighborhood. You got to let go of some friends. And you can't go back and all change your phone number. That just came out through the spirit. Change that was for somebody in here. Change that. See, I'm not just talking. The Holy Ghost is talking. And you know why you're quiet? Because he's stepping on your toes and putting throwing you under the bus. And I could he just gave me a few names. And what I'm waiting on for him to say, say it. See, I'm a seasoned preacher. I don't say everything comes in my spirit. I check in because I'm a servant. You want me to say that? You want me to call them out? You want me not call them out? So you need to change the phone number. Because just hearing somebody's voice on a voicemail, uh, stir up a demonic spirit, you will be, some of you know what I'm talking about. Amen. Because the devil going to have him or her call when you feel in love. You feel in love, son. You pissed off about something, young and old, he just said. And they, you don't answer phone, but they leave a message. Hey, I ain't talked to you in a while, but I was thinking about you, so. I just called to see how you do it. And your boys go, mm. Jesus. See how quiet it is in here? See, truth will shut a room down, boy. He won't let me move. I'm stuck right there. He won't let me move. Somebody needs to get delivered. Your cell phone will put you in a hell in a vicious position. Whoever you are, you better change your phone number. I was driving back today, and, and the lady on 104 for 7, she said, why does everybody and every child got to have a Facebook page, a Twitter, a cell phone? 
What has happened though? What, what has happened? Children. And grown folk can't live without one. They can't even come to church. They put it on vibrate. Why you can't just turn it on? I see what the devil's doing. I used to wonder, the Bible say that the devil going to talk to and Christ going to talk to everybody at the same time. Boy, I see it now. That cell phone going to bleep, bleep, blue, blue. He going to talk to everybody at the same moment. Between the cell phone and Instagram, Facebook. They said Facebook dropped off the planet. Again, for the third time yesterday, for six hours, and they said people thought they were going to lose their mind. Oh, that was on the Today Show. Wow. One person they showed on the screen said, I'm learning how to write notes again. Wow. Another person said, I don't have anybody, because I'm on Facebook showing what I do all day long. And I don't have anybody to show it to now. Self has swallowed up the earth. He got you. And you don't even know. You can't even pray for yourself. You can't pray because of those living in your household. You don't want to argue. So you just don't say nothing about all the noise and the craziness going on. Lord. You need to clear a house if it's your house. Everybody out. Amen. Do, do it, Martin. Everybody out. Amen. That's it. It's prayer time. Yes. Now, if you stay, you're going on your knees. Yes. You don't want to pray. Yes. Let the door hit you. Yes. Amen. Yes. Amen. Yes. My house is a house of prayer. Yes. It's prayer time. Don't go over there to grandma's house. What time is it? Six o'clock or when she praying. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. But uh -uh. let them get in trouble. Uh, yeah. Mama, grandma, I come to pray with you because I got to go to court next week. And, uh, hmm. Yeah. How come when they get in trouble, how come when you get in trouble, then you can pray? That's it. Mm -hmm. You must know there's something come to on it. Now, come on Amen. How come accidents, something may happen, first thing we say is, oh, Jesus. Yes. Oh, God. Yes. That's it. Because you know. That's it. Deep within the sinews of your mind, you know. Yes. That's it. Yes. It's built into us. We know. Uh -huh. Heathens know God is real. Amen. That's it. They talk all that y'all, y'all, till they get in trouble. Could you pray? Uh -huh. I've been at lock up. And they say, a minister, could you, a uh, big old burly man. <laughs> See, when you get down and lock up, ain't nobody bad. Uh -huh. Right now. Now walk the catwalks of the jail. Ain't nobody bad up in there. Touch her, my lawyer. Why all of a sudden you won't pray now? Mm -hmm. That's right. Yes. Because deep inside of us, we know God is real. But when mm -hmm. you have a chance to get the word of God, you ever notice people go to jail and they go to church? Why are you in church now? Because mm -hmm. you know. Yes. You know. You know. But y'all are staggering here when you get ready. Well, Pastor, it ain't when I get ready. You don't understand. I understand that you make time to do what you want to do. That's Amen. it. That's it. Where your heart is, that's where your treasure is. Amen. Amen. See, commitment is, I'm going to stay back. I ain't even going home from school. Tonight's Bible study, I'm going to be on time. 
Mm-hmm. So I'm just going to stay here. Can I get a sandwich or something, y'all? Because I'm just going to stay here. Because I'm committed. See, I'm not just talking to adults. Amen. I'm talking to everybody in this room. Amen. Amen. You young people are going to face worse demons than walking the street oh, yeah. now. Amen. You look at the world now, imagine in 10 years. Yes. Yes. These children cussing and lying and fussing and they 5, they 10, they 15. Think about what they're going to be like at 25. Amen. Dirt. You're supposed to be building a foundation now for the mothers. Y'all mothers, the greatest testimony ought to be, Mama, I heard my mama praying. My mama would put all of us down on our knees in the living room and we would pray. Yes. That's right. Amen. The greatest legacy you can leave your children is the word of God. Amen. And pray. Amen. Never mind getting the latest outfits and the latest sneakers. Greatest man, father it is, is a father that his son see him like this. Oh God, cover my family in the name of Jesus. Bless my children, oh God. Protect my wife, oh God, in the name of Jesus. Lord, I need your help. I am nothing without you, oh Lord. But in you I am all
The devil tempted all day, every day. And let me tell you, young people, so keep trying, and you, your older people too. Keep trying to impress people. I'm telling you, that's a trick of the devil. Amen. 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 Give a flip what the world do. Amen. My eyes is on the hills from whence cometh my help. You ain't going to tell me you praying like that. You read your Bible and you follow the ways of Christ. You see things start popping for you like yes. Christ. Yes. yes. Thank, Thank you, Lord. Lord. <coughs> Soon as something go wrong, you're not praying. Thank you, Lord. You're having a pity party. Okay, get ready. That's the devil. Amen. 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 I don't feel sorry for no saint of God. If you're going through something, something you did or something God trying to teach you, either way, it's good for you. Amen. It's good for you. Amen. Say, it's good for me. Good. David said, it's good for me that I've suffered. Yes. It's good for me that I've learned your affliction. Yes. It's good for me. Yes. Want to come out but don't want to go through. Non-committed, simple-minded Christians. You want the blessings of God, but you want it without working it. Yes. You look like somebody don't want to come to work, but want to get a paycheck. You don't want to go through nothing to grow. You just want God to throw it down and whoop that in. You immature Christian. You non-committed Christian. I told God, I said, whatever I got to go through, whatever, I know it's for my growth. Amen. Good, bad, and different, I know it's for my growth. Amen. I know that you gave the devil permission. But I know you ain't going to put on me no more than I come back. And when I've had enough and I've learned, you're going to make a miraculous way for my escape. Even if I screw up, you don't pray that I David killed a man over Bathsheba, and God said, that's a man running after my own heart. Yes. David knew what to do. Yes. David knew what to do. He was quick to repent. Yes. Thank you, Lord. And he let the whole town know he had sinned. Yes. He was the king. He could have kept cover, but he saw what the devil had got him to do by cover. Uh -huh. He put on sackcloth, wiped himself with ashes from the dung heap. The doodle he and wiped ashes all over his body and his face, took off his kingly clothes and put on a sackcloth and sat at the main gate. <laughs> He'd have been sitting down there by MCV where you come off the highway, uh -huh. sitting at that and sat on ashes from the doodle he. He said, I'm sitting, everybody is showing. said, he said, the king has sinned. Yes. Because David came to himself. He understood, i got to open me, yes. confess my faults one to the other. And God is faithful. He said, I sinned against God yes. and God alone. Yes. I need to get it right before God. He didn't give a flip no more what people thought. Yes. Now he didn't give a flip no more about covering his sin. Yes. His son died because he covered his yes. sin. Yes. And the next child him and Bathsheba had, they married. And his name was Solomon. Mm -hmm. The only man that walked the earth full of wisdom. All wisdom. Knew everything. Mm -hmm. Some people think they know everything now. Amen. David got it right. Because he was committed to God. Yes. Even though he screwed up, he showed God, I'm still your man. Thank you, Lord. I'm committed to you, God. Whatever you ask me to do, I'll do it. Thank you, Lord. Juanita Bonham said, took her shoes off in front of 80,000 people and crawled across the stage mm -hmm. to repent to Bishop Jakes and Sister Jakes for the way she had acted and the things she had said. She mm -hmm. said, I wouldn't be, nobody would even know my name if it wasn't for you. Yeah. See, because you can't get nowhere without a mentor. Amen. Yeah, if somebody don't need you, forget it. Amen. You better hear me. I know people don't like that, especially young people and dumb older people. But you ain't going to get nowhere unless somebody leaves. That's 
master laws of God. The student is never greater than the master, my son. I don't care what you learn. I don't care how much you learn. You'll never be greater than me, and I'll never be greater than Bishop. Amen. Amen. Hello! Amen. She said, I let the wrong people talk to me and Whoa. fill my head. Whoa. But God dealt with me. The Holy Spirit with me. And she took off her shoes and said, I offer my shoes. That's in the Bible, a shoe offering. And crawled across a huge stage in front of 80,000 people. And internationally got home and said, please, I beg you, my spiritual father, my spiritual mother, forgive me. Thank you, Lord. Out of order. I've been around the wrong people. I let them swell my head. These were her words. And I got off. I got off. But God, who loves me, has dealt with me. That's right. Thank you, Lord. She was committed to God. Right, Stand to your feet. Thank you. Thank you.